Gilbert Verdian decided to drop into Telegram on the 11th of November 2020 to give the Quant community some updates regarding Quant and latest developments. And there was quite a lot in there, quite a lot he shared. And it is turning into a bit of a rare appearance from Gilbert lately. And look, I know he's busy. I know he's a bit, very busy guy. This Obviously the CEO. This is something that I've been discussing recently with a few people. And that's to do with the fact that some communities are being largely ignored ignored and projects are not taking the opportunity to embrace their community and rather ignoring them and it's definitely the wrong approach i feel like if you're able to engage your community the community can build something for the project that can elevate it to a next level it can create a movement rather than a project being stale and being unnoticed and how many projects do we see have great tech have great team, but bad communication, have no community, they just don't get talked about. They largely don't go anywhere. They don't have any hype, they don't have any momentum, and no one really knows what they're doing or what they're working on, and it's a shame. Quant are lucky enough to have a community that is very passionate, and my worry is that they take that for granted. I feel like Gilbert is a very busy guy, so I don't blame him, but I do think there needs to be some mechanisms in place that would allow the communication between the community and the team to be a little bit better. And it shouldn't really take a drop in from Gilbert every once in a while to fill that void. A new hire, community manager, whatever. I feel like they need to take advantage of the community uh, because there's so much there that could be done and it could definitely excel Quant in a whole different area. And an area they need. I know they're not really a crypto company, but I do think that they do need to focus on that a little bit more because they are a crypto company. No matter what they say, they are a crypto company. But we had Gilbert dropping into the Telegram to discuss a whole bunch of things and he gave a whole lot of information from Oracle to rebrands to the latest on Quant X, Open Ledger Network, quite a lot. Um, so let's start with the rebrand. So Gilbert was asked about printing some t-shirts, I think it was, with Quant logos and, and I can't quite remember what the question was, but Gilbert essentially answered saying, hold tight, don't print anything, we're rebranding shortly. Now I'd caught wind of the rebrand a while ago but I didn't know the details and it'll be interesting to see whether that is just a visual rebrand or whether they go down the route of possibly changing the name from Quant to Overledger seeing as the technology is called Overledger so I'm not totally sure and I'm curious to see what that looks like because the Pixel Q like Gilbert said it's very 2018 it is someone's mentioned before it looks like Chainlink's logo with just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> a little bit attached to the end and obviously people have caught wind of the fact that is Quixel's logo and the reason for that is that in 2018 the team Gilbert wanted the community to design a logo for the project and they gave a little bit of a template of what they wanted obviously just a Q a nice logo with a Q and someone had got a royalty free logo which what which is the logo that won and submitted that and they won I'm sure they got a prize there we go that was the logo. But Quant and Gilbert wasn't aware at the time that there were other companies using it. It was a royalty free logo. It wasn't created from scratch. And then there was some controversies. Oh, it's not a real project. Oh, it's, they've stolen a logo and all of that jazz. I feel like a rebrand would be welcomed. I'm looking forward to what that could be. As someone who creates graphics, you know, I, I, I'm very interested to see what we can do with a new rebrand, new color scheme, new graphics, etc. But Gilbert was in a was in a good mood, and he mentioned that they've been working closely with Oracle the last couple of months. Been new developments, a lot of progress. Oracle, I feel like, is the black horse? Is it black horse? The black horse. We're going to go with black horse. I don't think that's the right saying, black horse. But Oracle are the black horse. Is it black horse? I feel like no one's really concentrating on Oracle. I feel like everyone's talking about SIA, you know, the work with the UK government and all the central banks. And a lot of people are forgetting Oracle. Now, Oracle have the potential to be huge for Quant. And the fact that their relationship is blooming and blossoming means that Oracle are getting very comfortable with Overledger and they are taking it to their customers and taking it to their clients. And if their clients and customers start implementing Overledger, that is mass adoption on a worldwide global scale because Oracle have over 430,000 customers. Now, if only a percentage of those customers start implementing Overledger, 
that's going to make a very big impact on price, on adoption, everything. So pay a bit more attention to Oracle. Look into Oracle a little bit more and you'll see just how big that partnership is. And we're past the startup phase, fintech partners. It's very, very interesting. And I suggest everyone having a little bit more of a look into Oracle. So we had a situation where there were some Ethereum outages because of Infura. Obviously, it hit a lot of projects, a lot of the networks. And Gilbert mentioned that we've... So I'll just read it. Overledger Network is progressing well. We've made a lot of progress during stress testing. The Infura Ethereum outage of today is a great example. With OVN, there will be many gateways to host different nodes, providing enterprise-grade resilience and availability. You won't have the outage issues like today when developers use OVN for their Ethereum and blockchain transactions. That's a feather in Quant's cap right there. The fact that by using OVM, you won't have these sorts of outages that affect a lot of companies and a lot of money. So it's good to see how secure and scalable OVN is and to see that they fix issues that other projects haven't yet fixed. The thing that caught my eye in the chat was the fact that Gilbert mentioned they're hiring. Their office is open, they're hiring more people during lockdown and they've been hiring people all year, which is crazy considering we've been in a global pandemic and a lot of companies are laying off staff a lot of companies are going through hard times now quam are doing the opposite they're expanding and he even mentioned that we are continuously hiring more people we have nine additional roles we're going to market so we can serve growth and client needs in 2021 we need to be double that of 2020 and we are working towards that so they are growing at such a rapid pace that they can't quite keep up with client demand that is very impressive and not for quant i'm sure they're pulling their hairs out and that maybe contributes to the fact that we're not seeing this communication we'd like between the community they're growing at such a rapid pace and that's the problem you want you don't want it the other way where you've got loads of staff and you're just not getting the client demand you want it this way this is a good problem to have but it's still a problem and it's good to see that they're putting the hires out and I imagine that they could just go and hire people, but it's more about the quality of those hires more than just getting the numbers through the door, right? They want people who are good enough to fill those roles because of the technology that's being built. It's a long process. I imagine there's a lot of interviews, a lot of time deciding, and you know they're spinning a lot of plates at the same time. But to see them growing and the fact that they need to double the size by the end of 2021 is very, very impressive. And that should tell you everything you need to know already. Who's using Quant? Well, a lot of people. If they need to double their size a lot of clients a lot of clients Gilbert was asked about ODAP the open digital protocol and he said ODAP meetings are held each week and we have separate meetings with MIT it's going very well and the scope of it is huge real pleasure to work with the likes of MIT and the companies that are part of IETF Gilbert mentioned a while ago on the Real Vision interview that the likes of Intel telecom companies there are large payment companies who are part of these IETF discussions the US Federal Reserve are part of it and they're working closely with MIT now it seems like Quant are working close with MIT to try and build this out and it's good to see that this is developing because if, if ODAP comes to fruition that's the new protocol for the new Intel imagine a world where that is powered by overledger i don't think it gets bigger than that holding quant right now with the potential of odap being a protocol that is implemented with the likes of mit with the likes of the federal reserve powered by overledger Whew, it's very exciting he mentioned we're jointly developing new capabilities for the alliance blocks use case it's complementary to what we're doing in capital markets. So use case coming out with Alliance Block. Um, interested to see what that is. I know the Alliance Block team are working on some great things over there and they've been slowly making progress. Mentioned recently that they're gonna be helping Chainlink, connecting them with capital market clients, uh, connecting them with capital markets. And if you don't know, Alliance Block are using Overledger. Chainlink might be using Overledger. That's very interesting as well. This is the thing about Overledger. Overledger can touch so many companies that don't realize they're using Overledger. The reason why Gilbert jumped into Telegram was to thank the community for their efforts of the BitTrue XRP Quant pair. BitTrue put out a tweet saying that we've opened deposits for Quant and that if we get 500 deposits, 500 different accounts depositing Quant, we will add a XRP Quant pair. They managed to do it. The community 
managed to create 500 accounts, deposit their quant, and BitTrue is very much an XRP exchange. The fact that XRP and quant communities are getting a bit more familiar with each other, this is great news for quant. It's great news for those guys who are in XRP if they want to sell a little bit of XRP maybe to jump into quant. They now have a very simple way to do it. The community effort to get quant listed there was fantastic and Gilbert mentioned that they were already in discussions with them but it was down to the community that to to make it happen so this arcs back to what i was mentioning before about how if you embrace the community they can do some great things the community is a powerhouse if you engage them in the right way they can be a powerful ally and i, I truly believe that and i've worked closely with this community and i know what we're capable of and we're only getting bigger we're only getting better so um kudos to everyone in it another thing quant x 2020 will not be going ahead obviously due to COVID. This was mentioned a while ago uh, in an AMA where he was asked, will there be any developments in Quant X? And he said he hadn't even thought about it this year due to client demand and all of that stuff. Due to the pandemic, Quant X is not going to be going ahead. Obviously, it wouldn't have been a, a physical thing. It would have been virtual and maybe it just doesn't really make sense. Um, I know from people who went to 2019's Quant X that Gilbert was very happy to meet members of the community who went. That was from someone who did meet him. It seemed like he was very, very happy with the fact that the community would come along and support Quant. And maybe the fact that just couldn't do that in a physical form, um, maybe it just didn't really make sense. Like he mentioned, the industry for events this has just taken a massive hit this year so no quant x 2020 let's hope that quant x 2021 we have even more reason to celebrate everyone can go <laughs> ride their private jets why not why not dream a little bit eh? testing on the overledger network they're aiming for sometime early in 2021 they're busy finalizing the treasury layer to payment channels and back-end infrastructure they're working closely with crowds that was mentioned there's new things we've been working on that we haven't talked about out. There's a clear project roadmap we're working on and they're exceeding each quarter set by their product team. That is very, very bullish. CBDCs have accelerated globally. People move into more cashless transactions and central banks using wholesale and retail CBDC for access to central bank money and policy. It's a pivotal moment in financial services globally. We're glad we're at the forefront of the technology and the thinking. Everywhere you look at the moment, central banks are talking about digital currencies and it's good to see that Quant are at the forefront of that, working with the central banks to develop their understanding of what a central bank digital currency can do. And finally, he mentioned that they're beefing up on their marketing team. So they've added two new members to their marketing team. They started recently and hopefully we'll hear a little bit more about Quant's developments. I mean, why would you hire a marketing team? if you're not going to talk about some stuff you're working on. It's good to see that with price moving up, the community is growing, very busy behind the scenes, it seems, and they are beefing up their staff and their communications. So it seems like everything that could be going the right way is going the right way. And it's good to be a part of the community at this point. We've been through some tough times. I know a lot of people have been through some very slow, arduous times with Quant. It's good to see that the perseverance paid off and that we're moving into a, a new phase with Quant. I'm very happy to be a part of it. I'm very happy that everyone stuck around who did. And his, his hope in that 2021 is even bigger and better than 2020. If it's not, a lot of us will still be here. But if it is, many more will be here. So very, very exciting times. Good to see Gilbert again jumping into the Telegram. I hope it happens on a more regular basis. If not Gilbert, hire a community manager, get them in there to tell us about the latest updates and developments. And hopefully we can work a little bit closer together and have the Quant team focusing on the enterprise side and the Quant community focusing on the crypto side and have a little bit of a bridge that we can work a bit closer together. That would be the perfect scenario. And hopefully we can make that happen somehow. So that's me, that's Gilbert. Gilbert is typing, as he said. Until next time, see you guys.